on this episode of the Palmetto Traveler, the Ferris Five take a trip to Landsford Canal State Park in beautiful Chester County, South Carolina. Come join us. It's a moving water. Completed in 1823, Landsford Canal was 12 feet wide, 10 feet deep, and 2 miles long. Five locks raised and lowered barges through the 32-foot fall of the Catawba River. It was built to bypass the shoals at Landsford on the Catawba River. Admission's pretty cheap. It's $6 per adult, 16 years and older. Uh, for seniors, it's $3.75. And for children ages 6 to 15, it's $3.50. Children under the age of 5, it's free. It's open daylight until dark. Let's go. Come on. Pets are allowed as long as you keep them on a leash. Monster Calhoun? <laughs> okay, big muddy spot. The one knock on the trail was that it was very muddy this time and it was difficult to walk through without getting really dirty or fear of slipping. So after a heavy rain, you may want to wait to go hiking. Not far from the guard lock, the canal passed under a wooden bridge. Cut stone abutments on each bank supported the simple wooden truss structure. This was the first of four bridges that crossed the canal on its two mile path beside the river. The ford here is remained an important point to cross the river and without these bridges, the canal would have, been, would have proven an end impediment to this traditional route. Wow, storms did a doozy on that tree. Lansford Canal State Park is a great day trip with the family. The trail is a flat and very well maintained trail. It's very easy to hike for kids and there's a lot of things to see and explore along the way. Yeah, the canal finished here though, it looks like. Went back out onto the river. Me too. say we didn't not do it. The outside of both canal banks and arched stone connect channel that passed under the canal bed through which the stream followed. Portions of both the entrance and exit arc and the walls still remain. If 
entrance and exit arch, and the walls still remain. If you still closely, if you look closely between them, you can see the fountain foundation stones of the arch channels, which carry water under the canal bed. So this is that. See, can you see it? The arch underneath there? Yeah, I see it. Awesome. See that? What? Jump in there. Get in the water. I don't know about that. No spider lilies because they're over taken by the water of the river right now. But what are they? Are like they animal? No, they're a flower that grows in the river. Um, and it's pretty Does everybody want to keep going? Yeah. Okay. We'll try your best not to get your shoes dirty. Was encountered. Mm. This is this was blasted out some of being the canal construction. The rock is visible to on in places along the upper part of the canal bed often showing holes which were drilled by hand or blasting. The building, the building the canal, all the trees and plant growth were moving the extravag excavations. excavations were carried out by hand or with mules mm. to, and drag lines. Stumps were removed with a very... Yeah, we're coming. She's putting her water bottle up. Oh, we're about to walk through this. The mill was right there. And this was right there. So we're getting ready to walk through. Very cool. I've been here before. I just can't. I haven't been in a long time, that's all. And then they'd be on their way. What do you think, Riley? Heavily traveled road in colonial America passed through here, linking areas from the Great Lakes to Augusta, Georgia. Wow. Laid on ancient animal and Native American trading warrior paths, Indian treaties among the governors of New York, Pennsylvania, Virginia, and the 19 chiefs of the Iroquois League of Five Nations in 1685 and 1722 opened the colonial backcountry for peaceful settlement. like the I-77 of that time. Cool, huh?
so the sun doesn't hit it. Sadly, the spider lilies were washed out this time due to the recent heavy rainfall in the area. You can see that they're out there. They just got washed out. See that green stalk right there? That's a spider lily. It just got washed out from the, the river below. There is a gift shop, and the park ranger on duty was very nice and courteous. Overall, we give Lance Ford Canal State Park four out of five Palmetto trees. Go check it out. See you next time on the Palmetto Travelers.